Hey, welcome everybody. Today we're gonna to be turning what you see in the background, so I'll put my emulator over to the right, but see all this data here on the screen that I made very large? We're gonna be turning that JSON data into a recycler view that you can actually scroll through. So if we notice our title there, so see the title right there? It comes directly from the title from that right there. So it's kind of turning turning basically this JSON, J, this JSON file, um, we have user ID, ID, title, body, and we're taking all of the data here and we're parsing it and we're dis displaying it using card view and recycler view. In Android Studio, all native, Android Studio, Kotlin, uh, card view, we're gonna use a number of libraries for this. We'll do it a simple way, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. So if I go to Android Studio, you see I already have a new project opened up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete some, uh, first before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and just kill this so it doesn't get confusing. Uh, so okay, so some stuff here we just don't need. So let's go back to Chrome, and what I did to find that URL is I just Googled JSON API testing. I came out with this website here, and they have a bunch of different stuff. They have like photos um, or stuff like that, but I decided for this we'll just stick with posts because this could be like a social media sharing app. You could share, you know, this could be posts from your friends and family, uh, their comments and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna use this. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the URL and we're gonna go back into Android Studio and in our main activity we're gonna do, let's do this, uh, URL equals so great, we have our URL there, but we, it's not quite, how, do, how are we gonna actually fetch that data? Let's do it this way. Uh, URL, uh, let's go ahead and put that there, and I'm gonna put my mouse over the red arrow, option, enter on a Mac. Uh, I don't know what, it, I think it's option, or alt, enter I think on a Windows, not sure. I use Mac, so we have that now. So let's go ahead and do, we can do dot read text. And let's go ahead and just call this content, or we'll call this uh, JSON, okay. So we have our JSON data. So what we wanna do is we wanna do this on a background thread. So we can do do a sync, and I don't think it's pulled in yet. So let's go ahead and do uh, Google just this right here. Uh, click on the first result, and you'll see if we scroll down, this is, this is their project, uh, it's from uh, JetBrains, I think. Yeah, it's from JetBrains, I think. It's a little library that'll help you do stuff on the background thread. So if we scroll down a little ways, we'll see we can do, we can add something to our build.gradle file. So I'm in Android view. Uh, I'm gonna close everything, go to Gradle scripts, and then in module app, I'm gonna go ahead and just paste that in there. And compile is kind of old, we use implementation now. I'm gonna reformat that, and we need a version. So what's the latest version? Let's go ahead and go up to the top. If we go to releases, we can see the latest is 0.10.4. So let's paste that in there. Get rid of the dollar sign, because we don't want, we're not using variables here. Let's go ahead and do sync now, and this should pull in the project. And it ran pretty quickly. It might take a little bit longer if your machine's a little bit slower, but we can get rid of that. Okay, now let's do do a sync. And let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's do, so we, let's put that inside of here. And let's do this, let's do, um, so what we need to do to actually convert this into, so actually we'll just go ahead and do this. Let's do Dan, and we'll do, just to output it to the console so we can see something. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it, and I have an emulator set up already, and we can just go to it. And in just a second, this will pull up. But in the meantime, I'm gonna open up the log cat at the bottom here, and we should be able to see stuff. So what's going on here? Oh, so we need to actually, I forgot to do this. We actually need to add the internet permission. So let's go ahead and do that. So just go into Android view, manifest, and do uh, uses permission internet. I use it all the time there, format it close it, and let's run this again. And I'm using the keyboard shortcut, but if you want, you can just click the, the green button right there, that one right there, that'll take you there. So we have our emulator, and here we go, it says hello world. So now let's go down to our log cat, and let's actually see this. And you can actually see, hey, um, we actually have user ID one, we have the title and everything, we have the title there. So if I go back to Chrome, you'll notice that if I go to this file, yeah, sure enough, Here's user ID number one, there's the title. So we're actually getting all of the data. Um, and right now in our Android app, we're not actually displaying it yet. 
So we have, uh, let's, let's work on that now. So what we're gonna use is we're gonna use a library from Google called JSON, and I think I, have it, I don't have it open. Um, so we can actually just Google it and find it here on GitHub. And if we scroll down, we can see we can add it out as a dependency. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, go back into Android Studio. Again, go to Gradle Scripts, Module App, and we'll add another one down here. And again, we don't want compile, we want implementation. And let's go ahead and do sync now. That will pull it in. Let's go ahead and X that out. And what we can do is we can we, we can immediately be using JSON now. So let's do JSON dot then we have dot from or we have uh, to J so so you can either convert stuff from JSON or from J to JSON or from JSON, depending upon what you want to do. So actually what we need to do is we actually need to look at something else first. Let's go ahead and go back to, to Chrome. Um, so what I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit here first of all, but I'm going to go to raw and then I'm going to copy and paste the entire JSON file. So just select everything including the beginning and ending quotes and stuff. And let's, there's a nice tool I like to use. So you can just Google this here um, and there's this tool here where we can get rid of that and we're going to paste in our JSON and we just paste it in and we got to do a couple of things. Um, the settings are, it is JSON data, all of this is JSON, so select JSON. Then we want to use JSON from Google, so select that, then go ahead and hit preview. And what you'll notice is this kind of gives you a variable. So say we have private integer user ID, uh, we have a title, we have a body. So this is actually giving us a variable we can use. So instead of having to do some complicated stuff, it's just as simple as this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this here. And it's actually, uh, yeah, just go ahead. Let's go back into Android Studio. Um, let's go ahead and just locate this. I'm gonna close everything, then locate the current file. And let's do this. You can either right click and do new Kotlin file. We'll call this post. This is gonna be a class. So let's go ahead and paste what we just copied in, in there, and oh, it converted it for us. I'm not gonna do it that way. Let's, let's do it a different way, just to, sh just to show you. I don't wanna confuse anybody. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually do this a new Java file, and we'll call this post, and everything looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just convert, paste all that inside, and we need to change the class to post, and this should work. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert it over to Kotlin. So to do that, there's like a, there's a, there's, there's a, uh, I think it's actually at the bottom of code, yeah, convert to Kotlin. So I'm gonna go ahead and, but well, actually before I do that, it's important to note what, the, what JSON is gonna do or what, let me go back to it, what this right here represents is this, J, is this JSON file. So we have, we have a user ID and it's given a variable of user ID right there. It's an integer. And if you go back here, sure enough, yeah, user ID is a number. Um, we also have title, it's, what is it? It's a string. So if we go back to here, we see, yeah, sure enough, there's a title and it's a string. So, you know, we're good there. So what this is doing is it's gonna say, hey, um, let's just use getters and setters on those. So if you wanna get title, we can get title or get body, get ID, get user ID, we can do all of that. Okay, so let's go back to Android Studio. And I'm gonna go ahead and convert it over to Kotlin. Uh, Kotlin here, I usually use the keyboard shortcut. It works just as well. Um, let's go ahead and go back to here. Now what's a little bit tricky is we want to do something. We wanna do it from JSON and we're gonna pass in our JSON field. So basically this text right here, what we do is we we go to a certain URL and then we get all of the content of there. And there's there are better ways to do this, but for now this will work just fine. Okay, so cool. We, we actually haven't finished that up yet, so let's put a comma. Uh, then we need to somehow tell it, hey, we want this JSON and we want to convert it into this post here. So how do we do that? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do array post. So what this says is, hey, we want an array of posts. So how many how many rows are there? So there's that, there's that. Like each one of these is its own row. So and there I think there are a hundred of there are a hundred of them here. Yeah, so there's a ID of one hundred there. So so it's we we want to be able to access each one of them. So we'll go ahead and do this. So post 
uh, then we'll do class Java, uh, then we'll do uh, two lists. And this should give us a nice list. So, but we actually, so what we're saying is, hey, so startup JSON, we want to convert something from JSON, which is that right there, into a Java or Kotlin object. And we want it to be a list. So just like you can loop through an array list or a list or whatever, um, we can access that instantly. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's do val, we'll call this posts equals. Okay, so we're doing this all on the background thread because we're using Duo Sync. Now we wanna to go to the UI thread. Let's do this, UI thread. And remember, this only works because we went into our build.gradle file and we added um, that right there. So we can go ahead and kill that and we don't need that anymore. But let's go ahead and do this. Let's do something. Let's do, uh, let's do posts dot for each. Uh, and oops, let's go ahead and do something. Let's, let's just log something just to make sure that we're uh, actually, wor that it's actually working. Let's do this, let's do D, and this is the equivalent of doing log.d in Java. It's just a little bit shorter, just D. And I like to put my name in there. And then we'll do um, post type. Uh, let's do. Okay, so what do we just do there? We say all of this right here says, hey, if you want this to happen on the UI thread. So we have our post variable there, which is right there. So we're getting all of the posts there. And remember, it's a list. We're using an array and we're converting it to a list. So we have our post for each post. And remember, there are about 100 posts. So for each post, we're going to write that to the console. And just so you know, um, it, so dollar sign it is a variable that acts, it's kind of, it's kind of like your lambda function, I guess you could call it. Or not really, Actually, that's, not, that's not a good way to describe it. But we have access to that because we have for each. And, it, and in, in Android Studio, we can actually see, yeah, it is a post. So we'll do it's dot title. And if we command click on the title, you can see, hey, it takes us to our posts class. So yeah, sure enough, we have, we have user ID, we have ID, we've got title, we've got body, and we can do anything we wanna do. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And I use the keyboard shortcut a lot, which is control R on Mac. I don't know what it is on Windows or Linux. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the run button, go ahead and run it. And let's go to our emulator. And this should pull up, uh, should, shouldn't really pull up anything different but it shouldn't crash and that's the important thing. It did not crash. So I'm gonna to go to Logcat and if I make it a lot bigger here, you can see, hey, we actually have, so first we have our JSON data and that's coming from uh, that line right there. But then we also have at the bottom, we should have the titles. So we'll see where it says post title there. Um, it says post title is right there. So by doing, by typing that right there, we're getting the title of each row. So that's row number, let's, that'd be one, two, three, four, ten, 10 or whatever, all the way down to 100. So that's where we get all of our data from. So if you go back to Android Studio or if you go back to the emulator, we haven't actually done a whole lot here. It doesn't look any different. We'll cover that in the next video. But for this video, it's important to note that, hey, we're, what we're doing is we're fetching a URL, we're converting it. We're converting it to JSON, where we have this post class where we can access variables just like anything else, like a body or a title. And then what we're also doing is we're also on the UI thread for posts and for each post. So for each of the 100 posts, what we're gonna do is comp, we're gonna write the post title to the console, and that's exactly what we did. So in the next video tomorrow, we'll actually turn this into a recycler view where you can actually scroll through. Um, where you can like scroll through a bunch of posts. So I'll see you in the next video.